Doctors say that a common misconception about cholesterol may be putting children at risk. As Gilma Avalos reports tonight, even active kids who eat well could be at risk here. It's all new information at 10 o'clock. The Rana family doesn't take health for granted. At only 30 years old, Prem had a near fatal heart attack. It was devastating. You don't think that it's going to come to you. Since her husband's big health scare, they've been keeping an eye on his cholesterol levels and on his. Because of dad's health history, Arnoff's doctor suggested a cholesterol screening at age eight. His numbers were pretty skyrocketing. My first instinct was, now it's got to be uh, some error in the lab. Can we do it again? It was no mistake. According to the CDC, about one in 15 kids in the U.S. has high cholesterol. It's a huge number, which I think really is always surprising to people. Sarah Blumenshine is a pediatric cardiologist at Children's Health. The 10 year old is very active. He swims and loves to ride his bike. It keeps me active. Also, uh, I can get out like, of school a little earlier because. Uh, uh, they call bikers first. But this was in his genes. His father's heart attack was the result of clogged blood vessels due to high cholesterol. Arnav's grandmother also had a heart attack at a young age. This is a disease that starts in childhood and increases as you go through your teen years and then your young adulthood and often causes tragedy in people in their 30s and 40s. Dr. Blumenshine recommends every child with a family history be tested by eight okay. and then again in high school. It can flag future health issues but is easy to miss. It's a sneak thief. It doesn't cause a child to have symptoms. For many children, obesity and diet are risk factors. But because Arnov's condition is inherited, diet and exercise isn't enough. He needs medication to manage his levels. And so does his dad. We thought the diet and lifestyle is going to replace the medication. That was the part we missed. This mom came so close to losing her husband, but thanks to the doctor who called in a simple test, they can manage their son's condition safely. We are living an example of what happens if you don't take care of it right away and what happens when you start taking care of it early on. Gilma Avalos, CBS 11 News. More than half of United States adults right now who could benefit from cholesterol medication are not taking it.